In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect multiple GNS3 servers together. In other words, I'm running GNS3 on multiple PCs. I'm connecting them to a physical network and then getting them to talk to one another. In this example, I'm exchanging routes using OSPF and therefore allowing multiple GNS3 installations to talk to one another, exchange routes with one another and act as one large network. Why do you want to do this? To build larger topologies. You can connect multiple Genus 3 instances together through multiple physical devices to build larger networks. Perhaps your PC isn't powerful enough to run very large topologies, but you've got a spare PC lying around. You could add that to your Genus 3 network to build larger topologies. I've built very large topologies with multiple network devices from multiple vendors, connecting to many PCs in a classroom as an example, all running GNS3 to build very large topologies. So don't let the hardware of one of your PCs restrict what you're doing. I'm running GNS3 on a Windows PC. This specific PC is not using the GNS3 VM. I'm connecting these two routers to the physical network using a cloud. This Windows PC is using the GNS3 VM. So these two routers are running on the GNS3 VM using a VMware Workstation on a Windows PC. And I've connected them to the physical network using a cloud. In addition, I've got a third PC that in this example is not using the GNS3 VM. I've simply got this PC connected directly to my physical network using a cloud. Now please look at my previous videos, which I've linked below, which show you how to bridge GNS3 to a physical network using the cloud. It's recommended that you use the GNS3 VM to do this. You can bridge directly to your network interface card within Windows, but you may run into problems, which I do run into in this video with one of my PCs. But the moral of the story is you can run Genus 3 on a Mac and multiple Windows PCs at the same time. So I've got one, two, three, four Genus 3 implementations here, all talking to one another. So router one in this topology has an OSPF neighbor relationship to a physical router in my network. That is a physical Cisco router which I can log into. So show IP OSPF neighbors. This physical router has a neighbor relationship to multiple GNS3 routers, including this GNS3 router. So show IP OSPF interface. This router has this router ID and my physical router has a neighbor relationship to that GNS3 router. But in addition, I've got not just one Windows PC running GNS3, but here's another one. So just to make the point, please note, here are two Windows PCs running two very similar GNS3 topologies. So there's the first Windows PC. Here's a second one. And the second one is also connected to the physical network using a cloud. So on the second PC, show IP OSPF neighbor shows that this router also has neighbor relationships to multiple routers, including my physical Cisco router. But just to make it even more interesting, I've got a third Windows PC with a Genus 3 router in this example, I've only got one Genus 3 router, and it's also using a cloud 
to connect to the physical network. So show IP OSPF neighbor here. Notice this router also has OSPF neighbor relationships. So just to make the point, I've got one, two, three Windows PCs running GNS3, as well as a Mac running GNS3. These devices are all connected to one another via a physical infrastructure. My PCs are connected to switches, which in turn are connected to this Cisco 1941 router, which is exchanging routes between the different PCs running GNS3. As an example, this router in GNS3 has an IP address in the 192.168.10.3 subnet, whereas this PC and this GNS3 router has an IP address in the 192.168.1.0 subnet. These addresses have been allocated through DHCP and were allocated by the physical Cisco router. This PC, as an example, has a loopback with this IP address. And from my network automation container, which is running in this GNS3 topology, I should be able to ping this IP address. That's the loopback IP address of that GNS3 router running on one of the Windows PCs. So ping 10.10.30.1. Notice the ping succeeds. On this Windows GNS3 router, if I do a debug IP ICMP, pings are being sent from my Mac network automation container. And notice I see the output on the GNS3 router running on this Toshiba laptop. In the same way, if I go to this Windows PC and type show IP interface brief, this router has a IP address on fast ethernet 00. This is internal to the GNS3 network of 10, 10, 21. And on my network automation container running on the Mac, I can ping that IP address. So again, debug IP ICMP. I can ping that IP address and I see the pings on the router. This router two is an internal router running on this Windows PC. It has an IP address of 10.10.22. And on the Mac, as an example, I can ping that IP address. And again, if I do a debug IP ICMP, I can see the messages being sent from this network automation container running on my Mac GNS3 topology. I could also open up a terminal on my Mac and ping the router directly. So notice I'm able to ping that router. And I can see the messages here. And I don't wanna labor the point, but let's jump onto a different Windows PC. So this is my third Windows GNS3 topology. Notice the IP address of this router is this. That's router two here. Show IP route. This router is learning a bunch of OSPF routes and can ping 10, 10, 22. That's the GNS3 router on another Windows PC. Back on this router as an example, I can ping 10, 10, 10, 2, which is the second router on one of my Windows PCs. So the moral of the story is, you can build larger GNS3 topologies by connecting multiple PCs to a physical network and then advertising routes between your various GNS3 topologies. Your physical network could act like the internet or an MPLS cloud. So you could just pretend that it's some kind of WAN connection between your different GNS3 topologies. And then you can get your various GNS3 networks to talk to each other. So 
even if one of your PCs is not powerful enough to run a large Genius 3 topology, there's nothing stopping you connecting multiple Genius 3 networks together through a physical network. So run Genius 3 on multiple physical PCs and connect them to one another. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.